It is mid-January in Nova Scotia, and this year has been seasonably warm. About a year ago, I tried to get to this cabin, and I failed, and I ended up sleeping under a tarp. So this time, we're gonna try again with a canoe coming in from a different direction. We're starting by going down a river, across a big lake, up a river, big portage, final lake. It's about a 50 kilometer round trip, and we have three days to do it. So the biggest thing, just watch your footing. Good job. <laughs> nice. I can jump in here. Oh, what was that? my phone's gone. No. Yeah. I got it. Turned off. That's good. Doesn't fit in the pocket. It's, it's so big. So I think once like I get in, we'll we'll be able to go up the shoreline. Okay. Yes. That was so this is one of my favorite forest stands in Nova Scotia. These Eastern Hemlock, beautiful tree. Some of the biggest trees we have here. And unfortunately there's not many left and there's this bug, I'm gonna butcher the name, Hemlock Woolly Agalids, HWA is what they're known as have made their way to Nova Scotia and they're invasive to these Eastern Hemlock and they've made their way into a lot of these trees which you can tell by by small little white buds that are on the uh, needles. There is an initiative to bring in this inoculation to uh, treat these trees but the reality is not every tree is going to get treated. So that's why when you come to these areas you need to look up at the trees and appreciate them because you don't know if they're going to be here for our future. Last time I was standing in this exact position, looking at this lake about a year ago, it was frozen over, but not frozen enough to walk on it, causing me not to get to the cabin. But today, a year later, a year-ish later, we've made it past the final crux. All right, it's getting dark. There's been an on and off light sprinkle. It's probably floating around zero degrees. It's been a long day, but we're gonna make it before dark. We see it. It sits back so far, eh? you wouldn't even know if you weren't looking for it. Wow. Look at all that wood. This looks amazing. Like Me. <laughs> it was such a good shot. <laughs> no! I actually, I give up on doing this though. <laughs> I don't know why they're being so weird today. In the past, I've just cooked off the stove, but it takes a while to get a boil going and we're starving, it's been a long day. So for that very reason, I brought a stove with us. 
For dinner, we're doing packaged ramen, but including coconut milk, beef, cilantro, green curry paste. And we cannot forget the dehydrated mushrooms. day today. That's a big one. It was a big one. I'm stoked to be here. Draw all that. So this cabin looks very, very new, but it's actually a restored old cabin. The volunteers came here, I think in October, 2021, and did a bunch of renovations. They left a lot of the old foundation, but they built on that with new logs, new windows, and made this place look absolutely spectacular. But they actually left a note from the original cabin on the wall here. There are a lot of volunteers that can maintain these old cabins. And if it wasn't for them, these places would not exist today because they would just get so old and rotten and the roofs would fall and it would just be a totally different experience. Big shout out to these guys. Thank you so much for doing what you guys do. These special places would not exist without you guys. All right, these are our chocolate ball rations for the next couple of days. <laughs> Do we both agree that we could have three to five after breakfast? Yes, I agree. <laughs>
This one's pretty rotten. The weather shifted a lot from this morning. It's about three or four degrees now, and all day, all the ice and the snow in the trees have been melting and raining down. Walking through the woods when it's like this, even though it's not raining, you get soaked. Now we have all our stuff drying on the wood-burning stove, I'm trying to dry all our gear for tomorrow when we head out of here. Coffee's ready, time to get up, time to start the day. Thank you. Oh, sorry, you can't see me smiling at you. <laughs> no, I can't see anything. <laughs> It is minus seven this morning. The wind's starting to pick up too. You can hear the, the wind swirling through the trees. The goal today is to be on the water for first light and start making progress. We have a full day ahead of us. Pretty cold, eh? You're pretty frozen. Yeah. I'm gonna give you an icy punch to the face. <laughs> it was really hard to get the camera out. There's white caps out there and a strong headwind. Waves are breaking over the boat and freezing along the gunnel and on Rachel in the front. We have a pretty big portage now, but after that, we're gonna be on the biggest lake of this route. It might be really tough out there, so we're gonna play it safe regardless, but who knows what's gonna happen when we get to that big lake. Question is, do you think we can go down the second one without getting you wet? Yeah, I mean, I'm wearing dry pants. Forward! Draw! Forward! Oh. Nice! We consulted the map, looked at the wind direction. It's a northwesterly wind, and we're taking the northwest shoreline up. We're gonna stay as close as we can to the land. So this is gonna be the game plan.
<laughs> oh, I see it. Oh. <laughs> We've made it. That was a bit more of a slog than we were anticipating. Super cold, windy, lots of frozen gear. All the water that splashed on us on those rapids, all frozen to ice. Pretty interesting paddle out, but amazing weekend. It's always worth it. Thanks a lot for joining us. We'll see you next time.